Hey guys, Rex here, and welcome back. Today is episode 10 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play, and to start things off, once again, I have got a couple things to, that, to say here, and yeah, it's been a while, and I'm, it's always a while since the last episode of my Let's Plays, because I just really don't have that much time to make them, but I am trying to get more time trying to reserve more time to make them for you guys because I know I, I get a lot of requests just to generally make more videos and I know my upload rate is really bad right now um, but I'm working on it I'm working on it. I have some I have some other projects on the side that I'm working on that I'm sure uh, that I do want to show you guys as well and they're not necessarily minecraft related but I think that you will find them cool at least most of you will but uh, today we are in our world and there is one more thing that I should discuss with you guys and that is that recently, well not so recently anymore, but pretty recently Mumbo Jumbo featured me in his Best of Minecraft series and as a result I had a huge increase in subscribers and views in the span of like two days or three days and so what does that mean? That means a lot of you guys are new here so welcome, welcome to my world here. So last, oh, hello spider. Last episode we dug this big hole. We didn't do that in the episode, we did it before. But we dug this big hole and built this absolutely epic, where is the villager? There he is. This epic carrot farm, potato farm, and wheat farm down here. Uh, designed by Unary Bit. And it looks like this guy's being lazy. I'll have to What's up with this guy? Um, but the, the, hmm. I don't know, he seems to be just being really lazy, or maybe just they just grow really fast. Because this guy seems to be doing his job. Anyways, my point is the rates from these things are ridiculous. Like, if I come down here, I, if I AFK for like an hour, I get like a double chest worth of like each stuff. Or something. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, my transport system actually is sort of faulty in that it, uh, sometimes the items despawn because the minecart's so slow and I have it go back and forth instead of loop around and so sometimes I lose entire stacks of items and the rates are still insane now I, pl I planned to make two of these towers that's why it's in the corner of my base like all awkwardly like that I planned to make two of these towers and even just one is way 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 too much <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do on the other side. I might build the same tower, but then put something different inside. I don't know yet. But uh, if I go over to my storage room back here, or my temporary storage area, you'll see that I have a ton of emeralds right here. And yeah, I've been using those to get some tools and just buy things from the villagers. Use I've been using them to get... Uh, what do you get from the purple guys? You get uh, lapis, so I can do enchanting. I did get a couple more wither skulls since last episode, so I can make another beacon, but I don't really need it right now. Uh, but what are we going to do today? Well, today... I have... where am I? I have a whole bunch of resources that I put in this chest right here, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but... but we'll be able to tell what those are for, but you should know that my stuff is only it's decently organized but it's still everywhere I mean these ones are organized this this is nonsense right here and yeah we need proper places to put our items because this is just all over the place here so I collected up all of this stuff and we're gonna make a ton of chests and some the dark oak is for the decorations, and then we've got some other building materials here. So you'll notice here I sort of started when I was uh, off camera. I built this sort of storage hallway, and then there's going to be chests here. And that's sort of the design I'm going to be going with for my storage hallways here. And so there's going to be one going this way, one going that way, and one going that way. And then in the future, we'll put sorters to automatically sort all of those items. And it's going to be awesome. Now, also, I've been killing a bunch of cows 
Well, I actually haven't really been killing them yet. And also, I might want to replace this elevator at some, at some point because it's sort of, I don't know, unreliable. And there are cooler designs. But, yeah, I've been breeding up my cows and these guys are starting to go, go all over the place. And I'm just going to breed them basically until they start exploding out of here and then I'm going to kill them all with like a splash, po splash potion. Uh, because I need a bunch of, of item frames to make the, the obviously the item frames for the chests. Now, the item frames for the chests, I'm not going to have item frames for all of the chests because as we know item frames are really laggy or one of the laggier things in the game because they are entities and because they are not uh, full blocks so they do render well they render like entities right and the, even the item inside just the number of planes uh, that can be rendered is just very very large so we're not going to put item frames for all of them what we are going to do is for the items that uh, for, you know, for the items, I should say, we're just going to put item frames and then put the item inside, obviously. But let's say if we want to put, like, stone, we're just going to replace this block with, like, stone. And then we'll ha have the chest above be the stone chest. So that way it won't lag as much, uh, just because we'll be reducing the number of item frames. So I'm going to get uh, a couple more things together, and then I will get started right away on building this storage area. So it looks like I have everything here that I need now. I just got some chests crafted up, some chests and some trap chests. Got some of that glowstone and split up some of this into carpet and made some of this, even though there's way too much here. Uh, but yeah, what I did forget to mention in last uh, the last clip that I did, or the clip before rather, that I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. I was around 40,000 before Mumbo gave me that mention. And... After he featured me, it went up to like 44,000 really quickly. So 50,000 is coming faster than you would think. And you know me, uh, I have a map that I still, that intended to be, was intended to be my 100 subscriber special. And it's still not done. So I need to get started on my 50k subscriber special right now. Because, yeah, you know me, it takes me a while to do things. And in fact, I already have started. And that is one of the reasons why I'm not actually posting videos, because I want my 50k subscriber special to be really awesome for you guys, and I want to actually have it done on time. So, yeah, that's just one of the reasons why. But what do you say, now that we have all the resources together, let's start time-lapsing our build.
Man, I am going to be completely honest with you, that took way longer than I thought it would. I thought that would take maybe an hour tops, but I kept screwing it up and people building things one block off and had to rebuild stuff and it was just such a pain to get all these in. But as you can see, it's done here. Uh, it doesn't look quite as nice as it will when it's done and has all the item frames in. But, yeah, I think it looks very nice, and the world is starting to get slightly laggier, as you can see. We've got lots and lots of chests, and we haven't even put the sorter in yet. So, uh, yeah, but as you can see, still running at a constant 30 FPS, which is not fantastic. It seems like it's more than that to me, but, um, and I am recording right now, so normally when I'm not recording, I'll be getting like 60 or whatever. Uh, but hopefully, it will be tolerable this whole time, if, if it starts to lag, then I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might have to not put in some of the sorters or something. Uh, but yeah, so now we have a place to properly store all of our like little items. Uh, obviously not bulk storage yet, but this is what we have right now. Um, so yeah, we're finally done this, but just to end off the episode, uh, you know what I probably should mention first is that, uh, yeah, I did decided to do a first-person time-lapse for it, and tell me down in the comments how you'd like that because I've never really seen people do that and I just wanted to give it a try. I don't know whether I like it myself because I haven't gotten around to editing the video yet. Uh, but yeah, tell me how tell me how it was. Tell me if you liked it or not. If you didn't like it, that's perfectly fine. Just let me know down in the comments. Uh, but there's one more thing I wanted to do before we end the episode and that is we need some item frames. So somewhere around here in this mess, here we are, I have a whole bunch of splash potions of harming. Now, if you remember, I have an absolute load of cows up here. And they're making lots and lots of noise. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, I love when this happens. When they all go like in a big circle like that. So, we are going to be killing these cows here. Uh oh, did I just... Okay, I didn't wreck it. Let's see, is there blocks? I need some blocks. I didn't bring any blocks up here. Come on. Okay, got some blocks. I want to kill all of these cows. Not all of them, obviously, but most of them. This is going to be amusing. So what I'm going to do is, I actually have looting on this sword, and if you don't know, there's a trick. I hope it still exists in the game. I don't know for sure, but it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, because if it doesn't work, that would be awesome. Where if you throw a harming potion and then you switch to a sword with looting, it will apply the looting to the potion. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to use that to see if we can get more stuff from these cows. So, here goes. And that only killed one. So, let's do this. Here we go. I like how, <laughs> I like how they're still in the circle and they're still shooting around. Because <laughs> they just, like, jumped. Alright, here we go. Bam! Oh, lag. Okay, let's see how much stuff we got from that. Decent amount of XP, and it looks like there's quite a few items in there, so let's take a look. Wow. Whoa! That's intense. There we go. We got almost five stacks of leather, and one, one, two, three, four, almost, or six and a half, no, sorry. Yeah, six and a half stacks of raw beef. I don't think I'm going to be have to, having to eat chicken anytime soon. And we still have a ton of these guys in here, and I should probably clear out a little more. So let's let's do it again, shall we? Here we go, let's do this. Throw one in. Uh, like, kind of like this. And one more. Oh, that didn't kill very many. Looks like we got a couple items. I should probably do it one more time. Let's just let's just chuck the rest of the, these guys because I'm not gonna be. Oops. Okay, that was that was derpy. I <laughs> I, oh, I threw it up and it hit a cow. I probably should have figured that. Okay, let's do one more. Ready? Eh. Yeah, I'm not killing any cows. I'm just hurting them. Oh well. Well, it's a little less hectic in here now, and I do have lots and lots and lots of meat. So we ended up with what? Let's count this up here. Oh, they're not spazzing anymore, so that's good. Uh, let's count this up here. We have... Six, seven, seven stacks of leather in a bit. Plus... 
nine, almost ten stacks of beef. So that is an absolute ton. I'm not ready to make some item frames. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. But before I go, I wanted to, to talk about one more thing, and that is the next episode. Now, next episode is not going to be an episode, but in fact, it's going to be a world tour and download. So every 10 episodes, I'm going to be doing a world tour and download for my single player world here because a lot of you guys were asking for the seed and the download. So uh, yeah, every 10 episodes, I'm going to be doing that. And obviously, there's not very much to tour right now. Like I can walk around everything I built in like two minutes. Uh, but as we do more progress in the world, uh, that's going to get more and more expansive, and that's just going to be a thing I thought would be cool for any new people who want to come in and don't want to watch the whole series. Then they can just watch one of those, and then they'll know their way around my world, so they'll know what I'm doing here. Uh, so obviously, if you want the seed, you can just get the world download, uh, and then just type slash seed like this, and you will get the seed right there. And then obviously, you might notice that I do have cheats on... Um, and the reason for that is just for video making purposes. So like, uh, if I might go into spectator mode if I need to get a, uh, you know, like a smooth shot or something like that, and I don't want to bring in my alt account, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not, I'm not cheating because I'm gonna be completely honest. In my previous let's play, uh, I might have said this already in a previous video, but in my previous let's play, uh, I did actually do some cheating to be honest. Like I would go into creative and build, build stuff because just to save time, and that sort of ruined the fun. So. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest here. If you have a survival world, don't do that. It just ruins the fun. So in this world, I'm doing everything uh, legitimately. No cheating here. Uh, even though I do have cheats on, that's just for video making purposes. Oh, and by the way, I figured out what was up with these farms. It's for some reason these guys are biased towards the... Uh, which like Whichever side they're standing on is obviously the side that they're going to be harvesting from. So they just hadn't weren't standing on the side close to me. So that's why it didn't look like these were going... But yeah, that is all the time I have for today, unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Once again, tell me what you thought of it in the comments. And be prepared for next time when we have the world tour and download. But if you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to leave a like. It would be much appreciated. And follow me on Twitter at NanorexMC for more updates. But thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Rex out.